All right, folks, I wanted to do a quick little explanation of after vacation, when you get back, um, there will be two uh, pretty short activities, but their collaboration uh, is a little bit longer. Um, it's called the Segment 2 Collaboration. You may remember we did one with Segment 1. It's basically, it's an activity where you're going to think about a conservation issue, even though we're getting into Module 5 on the universe. Um, this is kind of the last section of uh, Module 4 on conservation. And so you're going to go through here. This first part here just kind of explains it. Um, and again, don't, <clears throat> you can watch the video and, and, you know, go through this. You can rewatch re that video or watch that video there. Um, that is the rubric, although I've got a copy in the activity and I've got the instructions that you are to turn in. So don't use those instructions. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, that kind of explains a little bit about it. And then where you're really going to go to is into this assignment, which is due on the 5th of March. And just open that up in a, in a new window. And when you do that, you're going to see this. And basically, this is a three-part assignment. Um, it's a summative grade. So it's 50 points summative. So it's important that you do a you know, good job on it. Make sure you complete them all. Um, you know, post your, what you're basically going to do is you're going to think of a conservation issue that is in your area. It could be something more widespread like global warming, but you know, if you can think of something that relates to your town, that would even be better. Um, and then you're going to post a, um, you're going to write about that on this document and it's right down here in this box. And <clears throat> then you're going to post it. I'll show you where in just a minute, but there's a discussion, uh, that's uh, called this collaboration. It's, it's this one right here, discussion, segment two collaboration. And you go to that discussion and you, uh, basically after you write this, paste that in that discussion. Then you're going to have to wait a little bit for your <clears throat> classmates. That could take a couple of days. Um, so probably, you know, post your one early so people can start responding to yours. And then hopefully they'll have theirs up there that you can respond to. But you're going to respond to two, uh, at least two of your classmates about their conservation issues. And just talk a little bit about it. Explains it a little more down here. And then you're going to write a reflection that's at the bottom. All right. So read through this. Uh, there is a rubric on here so you can... <clears throat> you can go down here and see the rubric. Um, basically, this will just show you all the information um, of what you're going to be looking for. It's 50 points, so you're going to have some sharing ideas, your conservation issue. Um, is your clarity good? And did you do your reflection? So those are the um, three or four areas that you will be getting graded on. Again, it's, you know, are you a skilled scientist? um developing or novice and you know obviously you want to shoot for this area here so make sure and sharing ideas with classmates is the uh, the biggest part there um then if you go down here and you look again the first one come up with an idea i've listed a few things that you can think of uh, some of you live near ski areas and you know sometimes they have to go through um, a process when they're trying to build something or build a new ski lift that kind of idea uh, some of you are into hunting there's plenty of conservation issues dealing with hunting or fishing you know allowing fishing in certain areas allowing hunting in certain areas snowmobile trails snowmobiling uh, four-wheeler trails can go with that um, town dumps or trash in your area uh, you know if you want to use a bigger area uh, uh, topic you could talk about global warming or water pollution you know hopefully it's just water pollution maybe in your area uh, and there's plenty of other things that you can think about. And then all you're going to do is click into this box. By the way, don't change the color of these. I've got them all set for red. I know some people, or if you're going to change it, you know, change it to a color that is different than the black. Uh, it helps me when I'm grading these to find, you know, what you wrote. Uh, when I go down here, I just have to find the red, and it's a little easier. Then you're going to take this, and you're going to copy it, and you are going to go back to your, um, into the module, and you will see that there's a discussion, segment two, collaboration, conservation. And this is set up so each class meeting time has one of these. So you're only going to have, you know, 20 kids in your discussion group. You want to have all 100 of us. Um, and then basically you're going to go down here and you're going to post what you wrote. And so you're going to write it down and just, um, I would say just, you know, Control V. You can upload if you have a picture of something, you know, from around your area. You know, just like before, you can take and upload an image. So that's a good idea. And again, you're going to have to post this and then you're going to have to come back after a while. And there is a 
uh, an example of somebody's post. If you click on this, uh, there's two example posts. One is on stinky garbage and disappearing fish, and that's talking about how garbage is, you know, draining into canals and, and causing the fish to, um, you know, disappear. And then the other one is on burning trash. Uh, and both of these are issues you, you may want to write about. So, you know, those are topics, but obviously that's just an example. So look, at that's basically the kind of idea of what I want to see in this topic when you write it. Okay. Um, again, you'll come back afterwards and you'll click on, after you see some people, you'll click on reply to the people that are there and you need to pick two different people. But before you can reply to somebody, um, what you need to do is, and I'll do this. Let me take and copy this one as a sample. You guys can see this. I'll just write this as sample post. So pretend that was your sample post. I'll put that in just so you guys have one to look at. And so there it is. There's your sample post. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the reply button below this one. Before you do it, you want to take this and you want to copy their posts. Go back into the document. And then just paste the post here where it says, you know, classmates post. And then that's their post, and then you're going to write a response to that post here, and then you're going to do your second classmate's post here, and so on. So that's what you're going to be doing um, after, our, you know, paste everything here. So I have a copy of your responses and everything right here in the document. This is the graded document. I'll, the the um, discussion is also graded. And then there's a quick uh, reflection here. So just write down why did you choose that activity and so on. Uh, and that's really basically it. So if you have questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, this is your uh, segment two collaboration.